Hey guys, so I did a pre-garage sale uh, shopping thing. <laughs> uh, basically, I ended up assisting with deciding what was uh, worth garage selling and uh, was able to buy about $150 worth of stuff. So this is what I bought from that. Uh, bowl and pitcher enamelware set uh got a kind of a potty type or slot pail or more more than like a potty um good for plants and that sort of thing then a crate side for raw tripe yeah oh boy i just thought it was kind of funny and uh, would look good hanging on a wall so put a uh, picture hanger on the back of it uh, craft cream cheese box all with dividers in it somebody can make use of that and we've got a shaving mirror right there right there so yeah got that and with that I got a razor got a uh, valet auto strop razor oh, we're upside down I guess so right there and with blades and everything whoops I guess you can't see that eh? anyway there she is and then an unusual hammer I'm assuming this is for upholstery maybe I'm not sure can you tell me whether it's upholstery or what it's for um, you know just kind of a strange hammer weird and uh, we've got a clamp on light one of these brass clamp on lights these are getting kind of popular and a part for another one as well and let's see what else do we have uh enameled coffee cup and let's see i'm gonna unpack a little bit i'm gonna clear the table and unpack a little bit so hang in there hey I uh, just picked up a couple tools for doing repairs and uh, salvage and such. A couple of pry bars. And we've got a pair of cast iron bookends. Uh, they've got some thick felt on them, so they actually tip over pretty easy. But uh, we'll remove the felt, maybe put some thin felt on the bottom. So, anyway, they were kind of neat. Uh, plum bob. Kind of an oddball one, an old, old one. And a Bakelite handled shaving brush. Diamond Jubilee from uh, Lundar, Manitoba, 1947. Just a celebration. And it's uh, in, um, it's in uh, Icelandic, I think. Now, the advertising is in English, but most of it, most of the rest of it, is in Icelandic. There we go. <clears throat> anyway, excuse me. Uh, I've got an Enzyme box camera. They had some other box cameras that were more common. I just picked out the oddball one. So a little bit different. Uh, box cameras are pretty common when it comes down to it. Uh, got some camera components. A Pixar flash, pocket flash gun. Uh, another another flash this is the type that uh, fans out I think the Pixar one is the same sort of idea this one fans out and I've got a good camera Voigtlander this one's kind of neat a um, little different than than most the uh, these this pops out somehow I'm not I don't know how quite yet uh, but these will pop open and uh, be uh, reveal the lens so let's see what else um, got some caterpillar pins from Powell equipment uh, advertising for caterpillar so I've got three of them whoa three of them and got a 
lighter for Powell Equipment for with no cat advertising on it unfortunately but still Powell Equipment's a local company so there might be some interest in that and Queen of Saanich uh, probably a fairy I think uh, on uh, the west coast a lighter for advertising it uh, back to the camera I got a Voigtlander booklet for the camera uh, okay picked up some um, screw extractors which I don't know you sometimes need when you're restoring stuff and fixing stuff so needed them so it was good pick those up and then I got these aluminum sculptures I normally don't pick these up but I did some reading about the artists and they're actually in demand now so yeah cast aluminum polished aluminum these are uh, some ducks I guess or geese so yeah um, there's apparently they're in demand now so that's kind of they're kind of cool anyway they got a neat look uh, Bill Waite or not Bill Waite sorry uh, Bill Spike is what that is and got a brass scribe there or uh, compass I guess and a spoke shave or a draw draw knife sort of thing spoke shave draw knife I forget what the exact name is but anyway uh, let's see Winnipeg's finest birthday bash 1949 official program and we've got a butt gauge Stanley butt gauge missing one little thing I noticed here which is unfortunate um or maybe not it might actually be might transfer over i'll have to check but i don't know was it a stanley yeah stanley as well and got a neat crate a patterson's crate i got one of these before missing a bottom uh don't know if you remember in one of the videos i was kind of disappointed that it was missing it's kind of neat it's a biscuits and candy crate for Patterson's from uh, Brantford so anyway um, still got another box of stuff to go yet so hang in there I mean it's gonna clear and before we go on to the next box we've got this green painted little table with a little drawer in it all handmade and uh, hand green painted kind of cool good little bit of storage and display all right here we go for the other box and stuff uh, i got a couple souvenir dishes from gretna manitoba which is kind of cool they've got uh, buildings from the uh, town and uh, different views on the cups which is kind of neat um union bank right there and uh residence of jd pearson and let's see what's on the other cup uh view of gretna manitoba so yeah pretty cool pretty neat i, I happen to like the little souvenir pieces from manitoba of course uh, they will be for sale though. They're not uh, something I'm keeping. And a piece of Delphite Pyrex. A little nappy. I've uh, got a couple Jadeite dehandled mugs. So that's decent. They're still in mint condition, which is nice. I think this is the other one. Yeah. A second. All right, and get past all the paper here. Uh, I think this, I don't know, could be Fenton or something, but I, I don't know for sure. But it's hobnail anyway, little kind of jam pot. The interesting thing is it comes with its little spoon here. And I was going to test it to see if it's uh, uranium glass or not. So give me a second. 
Okay, we're going to be lucky. Let's see. Mm, don't think so. Hang on. Turn off the light. Uh, no, don't think so. It doesn't look like... No, nope, not uranium. Oh, well. That's life. Okay. Not uranium glass. That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> so... Okay, and then got uh, four pieces of Fire King in this dot pattern. Let's see, Fire King there. Hit one, two, three, and four. So yeah, a set of four of those. And uh, a couple Pyrex. I think these are Pyrex or Fire King. Pyrex. Pyrex uh, refrigerator dishes in red. Got two of them. Right here and here. We got a second. So yeah, we got two. And what else? Okay, we're coming near the end, guys. Uh, another couple pieces of Pyrex in red. Decent condition on the one. The one is pretty faded. I'm going to see if I can polish that up. It might come out, might not. We'll see. So, and then last, last and not least, I guess maybe least, piece of chintz. All this flowery stuff that's all over flowers is called chintz. So, this stuff's made by, uh, let's see, uh, something Kent Limited, James Kent Limited, oh boy, it's I'm getting old, I can't see, the pattern's called Dewberry, but generally it's called Chintz. Anyway, that's it folks, thanks for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe, and watch for our next video on townwide yard sales which are tomorrow so anyway check that out be sure to like comment subscribe etc 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 take care folks